Hello everyone, my name is Michelle Camberon and hopefully you're hearing me right now. Um, as was noted in the note box or the chat box, uh, Buddy Showalter will not be presenting today. I will be presenting. He was delayed in his uh, flight and could not make it back in time for this webinar. So hopefully um, I will suffice to present this presentation on the National Design Specifications for Wood Construction. Um, as I mentioned, my name is Michelle Cambiron. A little bit about my background, I'm a licensed structural engineer in California, and I am the Senior Director of Education for the American Wood Council. And um, so I'll go ahead and proceed with the presentation. Hopefully all of you have been able to download the notes for the presentation, and I was able to review it this morning. And um, this presentation is copyrighted by the American Wood Council. If you'd like to use any portion of the presentation, please feel free to contact us. And um, in the notes, it has the course description and the learning objectives. Um, so you can review that when you're through and perhaps you pick it up later on and you need to uh, get a refresher on what the presentation was all about. But an overall outline of the webinar will be, we'll doc, look at an overview of the webinar, we'll look at the design process that's assumed, and then we'll go through chapter by chapter through the national design specifications and provide you with some background on the national design specifications as well as the significant changes that have occurred from the 2012 NDS to the 2015. Um, and then we'll get into some where you can obtain more information. Now, for those of you, before I jump into it, there on our website, which is awc.org, you are able to download a free electronic version of our publications. Um, more recently, the 2015 NDS, the Wind and Seismic Provisions, and um, the only thing is it's a read-only, um, but you can it's a PDF, and it does not include the commentary. Terry, but certainly it has the rest of the publication. Now just a little bit of history about the American Wood Council and um, some of you may know us as our previous name which is the American America, uh, excuse me, American Forest and Paper Association and um, the publication, the National Design Specification was originally published by the USDA Forest Products Lab in 1944. So we have a long history of uh, developing this uh, specification for designing with wood. And throughout the years, we've obviously included different information related to new information on wood construction uh, and development of the standards for designing with wood. The previous standard to the 2015 was the 2012 NDS, and that was referenced in the 2012 IBC. Currently under the 2015 IBC, we now reference the NDS uh, 2015, which is shown here. And the 2015 IBC also references the 2015 Special Design for Pro Provisions for Wind and Seismic. So the one thing I always like to point out also is uh, American Wood Council is an ANSI accredited standards developer. And that means we go through a rigorous process on developing the standards through our Wood Design Standards Committee. On that Wood Design Standards Committee, there's various stakeholders throughout the industry that participate on the committee um, with practitioners, professionals, wood, uh, industry, et cetera, et cetera, uh, anybody that may have a stakeholder in this whole process or development of the standard. So it's not just the wood industry developing this. And I mentioned that the it isn't a very rigorous process. If there were any questions related to any of the changes, they all have to be answered. All the questions have to be answered and they all have to be approved by the committee in order to move forward through it. So uh, just to 
brief overview of the major changes that have occurred with the national design specification. It has to do with the cross laminated timber, which is a relatively new product in the industry. Although it's been used throughout Europe for over 10, 15 years, it's relatively new to North America, and you may have heard about it, but we'll talk more about it later in the when we get to chapter 10. Um, those are the major changes. And some more inclusion of wood products related to connections, fire design, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But the major change is related to cross-laminated timber.